Good evening. I now call the announcement period for the evening of May 18th to order. Uh, Council Member Stanley, you are the first in my queue and you have the floor. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, I wish to uh, tell the uh, people, uh, announce to the people in uh, Donaldson, Hermitage, and Old Hickory that on uh, Thursday, May 28th, starting at 6 o'clock p.m. at the Hermitage Police Precinct, we will be having a uh, political forum that will be addressing the uh, upcoming charter amendments to the Metro Council, to the uh, Metro ballot uh, in August. And uh, these, uh, this uh, forum is going to have all the uh, council members that serve the Donaldson, Hermitage, and Old Hickory community, that is Districts 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 33 will be there to answer any questions and to give their uh, in, input. And uh, we want to have as many people as possible attend this meeting to give their input because we are looking forward to their input uh, on this issue as well. So uh, once again, it's Thursday, May 28th at 6 o'clock p.m. at the Hermitage Police Precinct. Please call me at 889-6697 if you have any questions. Thank you. Thank you very much, Councilman. And is that area code 615? Yes, it is. Because we have to dial it now, so we want to make sure. All right, thank you. Uh, Councilor A. Langster. Thank you, sir. It's very good to see you. I uh, hope we'll, we'll have a long, long time in seeing you sitting there. Thank you very much. Uh, I would like to say that, um, ladies and gentlemen of the 21st District, as you know, I am slowly or fastly approaching the end of my term. And I want to take this opportunity to thank you for giving me the chance to uh, be elected to this district. I'm very proud of all the things that have occurred in this district. Thank you for giving me the chance to show you what we can do with just, just hard work and diligent work. And I think we've done it. Um, please don't forget that early voting is in July, this, um, the last two weeks in July, and election day is August the 6th. And it's very, very important to vote. I'm not going to tell you who to vote for while I'm standing on the floor, but I'm just asking you to please go out and vote. In another regard, Mrs. Nanny Lanier, she's still in the hospital, and we still offer our prayers and best wishes to Mrs. Lanier that uh, she will recover real soon and uh, maybe get to come up here before my last day arrives. But again, thank you for the opportunity you've given me to serve as your representative in the 21st District. Thank you. Oh, thank you, Council Lady, for your service not only to Nashville, but also to the state and our Metro Nashville Police Department. Thank, thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, Council Lady Moore. Thank you, Chair. I appreciate that. I do have a couple announcements. Uh, just want to say uh, on Memorial Day observance uh, on Saturday, May 23rd from 11 to 2, uh, they're going to be having that ceremony at the uh, Fort Negley Visitor Center on Fort Negley Boulevard. And so please come out. It's a Metro Candace meet and greet. Uh, it's from 11 to 2. And the keynote address is by Thomas Flagel. So please come out and uh, to uh, Fort Negley's Visitor Center, which is on 1100 Fort Negley Boulevard. Also, they're having the Memorial Day Dash 5K on Monday, May 25th. And I just heard, I don't know whether uh, Council Lady Allen's going to run in that or not. She's running in that. Wow. So we have to give her, you know, a shout out for that, uh, for running. And this also, they said the race uh, begins promptly at 8 a.m. at Greer Stadium. And it runs around Fort Negley with finish in the Nashville City Cemetery. So for those persons persons that want to attend, uh, they can call Peter Pressman at 615-293-8862 for more information on the Memorial Day Dash at the, um, the, uh, the, the Nashville City Cemetery. And again, the uh, also on May 23rd, uh, we're going to have a district-wide uh, cleanup. And for those persons that want to volunteer, they can call me at 615-386-9246. We're scheduled to meet at... Um, 
at Fort Negley also at 9 a.m. You know, to uh, for some designated areas in District 17 to clean up. I want to wish Miss Minnie Goodman. She is 80 something years old. I won't say any go beyond that. I'm just leave it at 80. And she just celebrated her birthday yesterday with Sunnyside Neighborhood Association. So I just told her I will give her a shout out because she's a lovely lady. She does not look 80. She looks good. So a shout out to Miss Minnie Goodman for her. 80-ish uh, birthday. Thank you, Chair. No, thank you, Council Lady Moore. Happy birthday to Miss Goodman and Council Lady Allen. Good luck on, on the on the race. Uh, Council Lady Johnson. Thank you, Chair Matthews. Uh, Southeast Nashville, uh, specifically my constituents out in District 29, but I'm also making this announcement on behalf of the other Southeast Council members. Um, there will be a meeting, a community meeting, community-wide meeting, on Tuesday, May 26th at Global Mall at 6 o'clock p.m. on the proposed relocation and consolidation of the jails for all of Nashville. This meeting is hosted by council members Fabian Bedney, Jacobia Dowell, Robert Duvall, Jason Potts, Dwayne Dominey, Josh Stites, and myself. So please mark your calendars if you're interested in um, participating in dialogue in regards to the proposed uh, jail consolidation. That meeting is Tuesday, May 26th at Global Mall at 6 o'clock p.m. And just look for the signs. Your state representatives will also be in attendance, State Representative Sherry Jones, Mike Stewart, and Jason Powell. And the last announcement is also for everyone. Uh, CNAP, of course, everyone knows it uh, stands for Crossings National Action Partnership. The mayoral forum for Southeast Nashville will be May 31st at 6 o'clock p.m. at the Ford Ice Center. And Jennifer Johnson with Channel 4 will be moderating that forum. So please come out and make sure to also email your questions to cnapnashville at gmail.com. So anything that you would like to have asked of the mayoral candidates, please email that address or email any of us as your council members. Thank you. Thank you, Council Lady Johnson. A lot going on in Southeast Davidson. Uh, council Lady Allen. Thank you very much, Mr. Chair. I just want to uh, let everyone know that the Dragon Music Sunday series continues in Fannie Mae Dees Park. That will be on Sundays at 4. It features some great local talent, and it also opens with the fantastic Centennial Park Jam Band, which is a great way to see what our young people are learning to do in the way of music. So we invite people to come enjoy some great music. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, Councilman Dominey. Thank you. The uh, folks, I, I, I reiterate the events going on in Southeast Nashville, and particularly to come out there on the 26th to discuss the details around the moving of the CJC. But more fun, on Friday, our beloved fairgrounds, we're having a big, big party. I want everybody to come out from 4 p.m. to 8 p.m. It's free, Friday, May 29th. They're gonna have a cornhole contest, and you're gonna be able to vote for your favorite mayor playing cornhole on a, on, a, on a cornhole set made with their likeness and logos on it. They're also going to auction those off, and there, I hear there's going to be a Duncan booth, and there's uh, a number of folks that might be present there uh, that you can dunk in the Duncan booth if you got a good shot. Look forward to seeing folks out there. It's going to be fun. It's free. We're going to celebrate the new branding of the fairgrounds in Nashville and have lots of uh, fun food and drink. We're also going to have speedway rides uh, in, a, in a race car from my neighbor Tony Formosa and the ride of your life. It's going to be an exciting time at the fairgrounds. Look forward to seeing everybody out there come out and celebrate part of the heritage and history of the city of Nashville at our fabulous property, the fairgrounds Nashville. Thank you very much, Councilman Dominey. Councilman Hunt. Thank you, Mr. President. Um, I wanted to allow everyone to know what's going on in the, on in the planning department. You know, the planning department responsibilities include working with local communities to create 
appropriate land use policies and community plans, making recommendations to the Planning Commission on zoning decisions and providing design services while supporting more substantial sustainable development. Now, one of the things that's going to take place, you know, everybody's been talking about Nashville Next. One of the most important part of Nashville Next will be taking place on June 15th. This is very, very important because it's probably going to affect every district in Davidson County. And you may want to be there to help defend or listen to what's going on in your particular district. Now, prior to the adoption of National Next, a public hearing discussing National Next will be held as part of the special call planning meeting. So we're going to have a call meeting on Monday, 3 p.m., June the 15th, in the Sunny West Conference Center in Metro Howard Office Building at 700 Second Avenue uh, South. Now, after the public hearing meeting, uh, after that is completed and closed, the meeting will adjourn temporarily and resume in the same location at 1 p.m. on Monday, June 22nd. And commissioners, the commissioners will continue to discussion of National Next, and that's when they may vote on the plan at that time. So in other words, it's going to be a public hearing on the 15th, and on the 22nd, they will be voting on the plan. But there's going to probably be a lot of discussion uh, before that vote takes place. There'll be people from all over the city. I encourage the council members uh, that's interested in their district, they may want to be there because it's going to be a lot of information. And once they uh, vote on their plan, unless Tim Garrett do something different, that's the way it's probably going to stay. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. No, thank you, Councilman Hunt. Uh, Councilor A. Langster. Thank you for recognizing me again. I forgot we had a very important birthday held this week, and I, I think um, I'd like to wish Sandra Moore a happy birthday. Oh. Happy birthday, Sandra. Happy birthday, birthday Councilor. Councilor Lady Moore, yeah. you actually next in the queue. Well, I just wanted to say, I forgot one announcement, and it's about the uh, Owen Barnes Scholarship. Uh, the deadline for applications must be postmarked by May the 30th and or mail to O.N.E. Barnes Scholarship, P.O. Box uh, 128261, Nashville, Tennessee, 37212. And the criteria for this scholarship, the recipients must live in the edge here area and must be accepted or presently enrolled in a college or other post-high school education program. And Recipients will be chosen based on need and on previous involvement in the community. And if they want more information, they can call ONE office at 615-256-4617 for more information on the ONE Barn Scholarship. Thank you, Chair. No, thank you. Councilor A. Johnson. I apologize, Chair Matthews. I um I forgot to mention that on this Saturday, which is the fourth Saturday, um, every month I have office hours on the fourth Saturday and I wanted District 29 to know that I would not be holding office hours this Saturday due to a family engagement. Thank you. No apology necessary. Uh, seeing no other council members in queue, I now declare the announcement period closed. We'll reconvene at 6.30 for our regular council meeting. Thank you.